good morning test 1 a few students written very good answers so today evening onwards we will be having one to one sessions i will be whatsapping you and i will be yesterday nearly five students were been completed eventually we will be doing it i will be sending you the private message so today we will be discussing on test 1 test 1 first question write the basic tenets basic features basic characteristics about the school of classical evolutionism with special reference on henry morgan with special reference on henry morgan for the theory of social evolution we know classical evolutionism how we will write classical evolutionism introduction classical evolutionism is the first school of evolutionism or it is 19th century evolutionism it is the early school which discussed about evolutionary pattern of the culture these all things we will write full stop there were three anthropologists who are related to classical evolutionism like british eb taylor american henry morgan british james fraser full stop then we will come into the basic tenets next side reading will be directly basic tenets number 1 unilinearity unilinearity the stages of evolution is one after the other one after the other or stage after the stage stage after the stage but not spontaneous for example savagery barbarism civilization number 1 number 2 progressive evolution the evolution is progressive the evolution is progressive the evolution is forward the evolution is never backward so this is second contribution of classical evolutionism third contribution psychic unity of mankind as a people's needs are same in order to satisfy the needs of the man when the environments are similar then the culture the response which is coming out is called as culture and that needs are similar hence the cultures are similar hence that particular process of thought for the satisfaction of needs is called as psychic unity of mankind hence this particular process is also named as independent evolution or culture parallels independent evolution or culture parallels that we will be discussing culture parallel this is related to culture parallels then culture survival basic tenets i am talking about the basic tenets first part of the question then culture survivals the part of the culture which was having a function in the past so it was been existing but today without any function if it is if it is present today without any function if it is present today then it is called as culture survival without any net benefit if it is present today it is called as culture survival for example anything we can take for example pottery for example pottery pots we can take the example for example you have to tell me eb taylor's horsemanship eb taylor's horseman so that particular thing is an best example of culture survival then comparative methods they emphasize on comparison because of which the classical evolutionists are called as founders of comparative ethnology they are called as founders of comparative ethnology whereby they emphasize more on comparisons these are the basic features or the basic tenets of the classical evolutionism so next side reading is henry morgan some of the students which i noticed who are writing very good answers i recommend them please write a book's name no need for year but book names is very very important hence the concept of social evolution is borrowed or taken from his book henry morgan's ancient society in which he discussed about evolution of society evolution of marriage evolution of family evolution of economic subsistence evolution of technology so we will be discussing the book called as ancient society there is a concept called as social evolution in this particular social evolution this thing so the stages of society savagery to barbarism to civilization promiscuity group marriages to polygamy and monogamy classificatory to descriptive band level to state level no family system to nuclear family system some stone tools to machines and writing but only two or three students i remember who gave reasoning what is the reasoning behind his understanding of evolution just not fact few people just mentioned the fact this diagram and they told that in this way the marriage evolved in this way the kinship evolved in this way the machines evolved but what was the reasoning the people when they were being depended upon when the people when they were being depend upon animals there were requirement of stone tools the man was savagery as a change in the environment there is a change in the economic subsistence whence they went up to the agriculture there is a requirement of barbarism form of life hence when there is a requirement of more advanced form of economic subsistence hence there is change of social systems economical systems political systems that paragraph is very very important next question write the meaning and comparison between culture area culture circle how did it help diffusionists 
to understand the diffusion of culture. So, the question is about culture area, culture circles. Some students properly they mentioned very nicely a, a box, this is culture circle, this is culture area, this is functionalism, this is structural functionalism. I know you cleared prelims, so obviously you know the answer for this, but how you are writing is important. How you are expressing is important. One of one of our students' ma, paper I posted once, go through it. Similarly, the toppers or good answers I will be posting, just compare. Culture area, American school of diffusionism, culture circle, German school of diffusionism. First, introduction, you know, diffusionism was a school which was evolved as a critic for classical evolutionism, who believes that man is basically an inventive and he likes to copy cultures from other societies. In that particular format, three schools of diffusionism evolved, German, British and American. In that three, the two are very popular, which are called as German school of diffusionism, bracket, culture circle, American school of diffusionism, culture area. First paragraph, introduction. See, introduction means what? What you are going to show in the next part of the answer, you are giving hint. In school level also, you studied the same. The second and third paragraph, what is going to be in your answer, you are going to give me hint in the first paragraph itself. So, from that three, American school and German schools are very, very important. So, that means culture area and culture circle. So, next side heading is culture area and culture circle or else how I will write, I will write, I will put a box and I will write culture area, culture circle. Who are the anthropologists involved in culture area? KFC, Kreuber, Franz Bos, Clark Wiesler. In German, who are the anthropologists involved? GSLV, Greibner, Skimid, Leo Frobenius, Radzel. So, who is the founder of the school of culture area? Franz Bose. Franz Bose is considered as the father of diffusionism. Subject point of view, answer point of view directly. Franz Bose. Franz Bose told historical particularism and diffusionism will both go hand in hand. What he will tell in the history? The culture got diffused. What is present in the history will become today's culture. And the second person is Clark Wiesler, who discussed about age area principle. Older the trite, larger the contact. Age area. Culture center where the early settlements were being present, where the early, early cultures was being evolved is called as culture center. And also discussed, no one mentioned about this. Clark Wiesler also discussed about natural diffusion, organized diffusion. Natural diffusion by trial and error method, by wish, for purpose. If anything is getting diffused, it is called as natural diffusionism. Organized diffusionism, if it is getting diffused because of force, is called as organized diffusionism. Example, Aurangazeb's Zigi attack. Aurangazeb's Zigi attack. What Aurangazeb did, two by third of the food grains will be given as tax if you are non-Muslim. So, what the poor peasant will do, he will be converting to religion. Why? Because for him, religion is not important. For him, survival is important. So, forced diffusion, natural diffusion, trial and error method, trial and error method. English language is not organized. It is a natural evolution. Why? Because opportunities are there. So, Indian slowly, 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 slowly moved up. But however, there is also an element of organized by Christian missionaries as well as British people. Then, Kreuber. Kreuber is a person who told very clearly what is culture area. What is culture area in two different geographies, mainly because of geographical proximity. When the culture traits are getting diffused, it is called as culture. So, this people told what is the reason for diffusion? Geographical proximity. This people told what is the reason for diffusion? Migration of people. Because of migration of people, diffusion is happening. Because of geographical proximity, diffusion. Then, after Kreuber, Kreuber is the main person. Culture climax. The last point of contact of the culture is called as culture climax. Culture intensity. How much seriously we are following the culture is called as culture intensity. Sensitive indicators. There is something called as sensitive indicators in this particular area. Sensitive indicators. Up to now, we were being bothered only about the materials, but the culture area are telling that there are some things which cannot be quantified, like non material aspects, like religion, value, beliefs, by which we cannot tell whether diffusion happened or not. That particular elements by which we cannot tell that the diffusion happened or not is called as sensitive indicators. Why? Because those are, those are, cannot be quantified. These are all the points you should write in your, finally, culture area. Culture area kya hota hai, aapko likna padega. Then coming to culture circle. Culture circle. First, Radzel. First, write about what is culture circle. Culture circle is nothing but two different geographies on the earth where the Cultures are same, it will be named as same cultures, those particular geographies are called as culture circles. And this diffusion will be happening mainly because of migration of. And the first proponent of German school of diffusionism is Radzel. And he gave the concept called as Fermann Gedanke, which is called as criteria of form. What is that? Essential and unessential. 
essential and unessential aspects if they are present in two geographies it means there is diffusion the next person this is he i expect if i am if i am allowed to make a question for upsc i will ask this question leo fribinus very intelligent why this person discussed about criteria of form criteria of quantity more the number of terms more diffusion but one thing he told museum collection we have to find the invisible cultures i will tell you see leo fribinus what he did he studied the malayo nigritic culture and west african culture and he told that today's culture is because of some invisible culture in the history somewhere the diffusion happened so from where the diffusion happened in the history we need to find for that what we have to do we have to study the museum collections if the museum elements here and the museum elements there same then we can come to a conclusion that in once upon a time the diffusion happened that particular cultures are called as invisible cultures leo fribinus had emphasized on this it is also called as museum methodology it is also called as museum methodology by studying the museums and museum materials we are coming to a conclusion leo fribinus culture circle graibner primeval cultures which is also called as ur culture primeval culture early man culture how many primeval cultures are there according to graibner six tasmanian australian boomerang melanesian polynesian totemic six early man culture he named it as primeval cultures from there it got diffused across the world here food consumption also we will mention kreiber food consumption clark wisler shosh what kreiber told mainly clark wisler kreiber told about food consumption based upon the food consumption there are culture area here same graibner primeval cultures and concrete in the design if we compare the designs if the designs are same we will come to conclusion that division happened who told graibner told finally schemed there are four different culture circles are there primitive culture circle primary culture circle secondary culture circle tertiary culture circle based upon social and economic aspects in this way we have to write so the first question is write the meaning and comparison between culture area and culture circles how did it help diffusionist to understand by this process again you will keep the heading how did it help diffusionist to understand diffusion happened number 1 museum methodology of leo fribinus congruity of design among the things which are available diffusion happened see they asked what how did it help diffusionist means british also will come by comparing the pyramids of egypt and the pagodas of japan we came to a conclusion again diffusion is means everyone will come three points four points because of food consumption if the food consumption is same hence there is a diffusion happened according to kreiber it is a primitive man who had the culture because of this primitive man the culture went to different parts of the world according to ur culture and which is graibner so our understandings you will discuss the approach of lesley white discuss the approach of julian stewart discuss the approach of marshall salins given to the school of new evolution 20th century evolutionism is called as new evolutionism 19th century evolutionism is called as classical evolution new evolutionism is more practical when compared to classical evolutionism full stop that's it then new evolutionism mainly about the about the importance of technology importance of energy and importance of ecology and adaptation so there are five anthropologies associated with new evolutionism gordon child leslie white julian seward sahelins and sarvis so first heading is leslie white but 20 marker it is Question is about new evolutionism. Twenty marker. Remember, first thing, how many marks it is? Twenty marker. So I will write about tenets of new new evolutionism. What are the tenets of new evolutionism? Evolution is progressive. Number two, evolution depends upon energy harnessed and technology evolved. What I told in the same tenets. Same tenets. You will mention this point. Approaches of Leslie White. Technology determinism, which is called as C is equal to T into E. So technology is directly proportional to culture. Energy harnessed is directly proportional to Culture. and evolution is what unilineal and that unilineal is what universal sir no online the techno the evolution is unilineal and the unilineal is universal everywhere the same that point also you have to mention and underline it unilineal universal they so i notice some answers they mentioned unilineal separately universal separately what they told leslie white and gordon child told it is unilineal evolution and this unilineal evolution is everywhere universal based upon the technology based upon energy harnessing based upon exploitation of natural resources that also they told steward second steward julian steward culture ecology you will write about culture ecology culture is nothing but adjustment to the ecology adaptation to the ecology is called as culture ecology for the first time the primacy was been given to ecology for the first time the importance the culture is nothing but an adaptive mechanism told by julian steward he was considered as a practical anthropologist in the discipline of new evolutionism 
and he gave a parabola form the first form of evolution and the modified form of evolution then again there is a modified form of evolution which is a replication of first model but in a different format three things we mentioned parabola path culture ecology adaptation I mean these are the important points which should be there culture core there is something called as culture core and culture periphery if the culture cores are same the cultures will be same culture parallel so the culture parallels is possible according to julian stewart if the culture cores are if culture core changes like technology and economic systems then the peripheral elements will change what are peripheral elements religion social systems political system sir salience general evolution how to remember service specific service is doing specific service i am we are doing specific service means service specific other than service salience other than specific general so salience is general evolution who borrowed the concepts from gordon child and leslie white yes he took the concepts he borrowed from whom gordon child and leslie white which is called as general evolution these three people you will write and finally you will conclude yes one more thing i want to tell what i notice in some papers routine conclusion hence this school provided food and fodder for further research the next schools of evolution happened or next schools of anthropological thought evolved because of this thought hence it is appreciated by various anthropologists no introduction means understand this introduction means i am giving hint about what you are going to read in the body conclusion means summarizing with strong points somewhere yesterday one student written opening the box of ideas is new evolutionism true new evolutionism is what it had opened the ideas it started welcoming the ideas of how of how evolution happened classical evolutionism is closed new evolutionism is what it opened the ideas of how the evolution happened means what it is not a closed system it is a open system that is there is a new evolutionism neo evolutionism such type of catchy word should be there in conclusion discuss the approaches next what do you understand by the term economic anthropology you know and describe how the major contributions given by the malnovskis to the economic anthropology with present relevance with present relevance first what is economic anthropology i will write economical concepts of modern societies is named as economics whereas economical concepts of simple societies are named as economic anthropology where the human societies values kinship relations are given importance the other name for economic anthropology can be understood as substantivist approach the understanding of economic anthropology can be a substantivist approach then the scope of economic anthropology what kinship relations are given important values are black box scope of economic anthropology kinship relations are given important values are given important we feeling is very strong community living sharing these are all the scope of economic anthropology so that is the first part of the question so you just mentioned you entered into melnovsky i am not asking about melnovsky i am asking about economic anthropology then what you understood by economic anthropology then you prove with melnovsky's concept of coloring or etc what do you understand by the term economic anthropology and describe how the major contributions given by malnovsky to the economic anthropology so in order to in order to prove about or in order to discuss about or in order to provide evidences for economic anthropology malnovsky had given the concepts or given the case studies of kularing urigubbu system or vasi system then you will write little bit only little bit about kularing little bit only about any one you can write not three because the question is not exclusive eat one paragraph on urigubbu one paragraph on kula or one paragraph on vasi or one complete kularing also sufficient then this is very important with the present relevance number one social cohesion and social unison is possible with economic anthropology cultural protection cultural conservation is possible by economic anthropology number three survival of the needs of the man is possible why because in economic anthropology it deals about the survival of the community but in economics it only deals about the survival of individual but in economic anthropology deals about the survival of the community those points should be there it's three kularing vasi system urigubbu system and finally how you will compare and finally you tell that the best understanding of economic anthropology in indian context is nature man spirit complex given by lp vidyarthi where where they are giving importance for the nature which hills bracket rajmahal hills so when they are protecting the rajmahal hills the rajmahal hills is protecting them hence is the community survival is possible by economic anthropology how nature interaction but there is a stratification is there in jajmani system stratification should not be there in simple society is no stratification but jajmani system stratification is there superior inferior kibbul rishabh hans sir can the concepts of cooperatives shgs yes correct cooperatives if this cooperatives 
SHGs have adopted the principles of economic anthropology, hence the community will evolve. Very good. SHG showing in Indian marriage studies studied under economic anthropology with respect to present relevance, it is going relevant. Can the concept? No, no, only up to cooperatives and SHGs only you have to write. Uh, Rishabh Hans, do you, if you have mouthpiece, you raise your hand, we can have a discussion, audio. No, money showering at the time of Indian marriages will not be there. Uh, yes, yes, please. Yes. Uh, ah. So can we, can we the of economic uh, no, no, we, we cannot add this. Why? Because see, it is something which is derogatory or it is something which is, uh, which is, which does not belong to simple societies. So, which is limited to simple societies, but however, the best example would be, as you told, cooperatives and SHGs. Because it is not, it, it can't be uh, explained by like modern economic concepts. Yeah. Fact. True, I got it, I got it, Rish. But however, I recommend you SHGs and cooperatives can be the best. Elaborate the Radcliffe Brown's ideas on social structure, social life and the concept of religion. First paragraph about R.C. Brown. Who is R.C. Brown? British anthropologist. He also visited India. He did ethnography study on which Andaman Islanders. Then we will write about. Then he gave various concepts like social structure, social life and religion. Then we will mention about social structure. What is social structure? Social structure is nothing but the components or parts which are staying together is called as social structure. So, every component, every part should be intact for the existence of society. Primacy of structures over individuals. In the structural functionalism of R.C. Brown's, the primacy was been given to structure, the primacy was been given to society rather than individuals. Social life, five things will be there now in social life, existence of social, existence of structure. Next what? Five things will be there, five points will be there in social life, existence of social structure, social group. Second, internal structuring. The best example is Indian caste system, internal structuring. Third, arrangement like superior, inferior. Fourth, social distinction like Brahman is this, Shudra is this. Finally, dyadic relationship, Dvijas, non-Dvijas, dyadic relationship that is social life. In any structure, if these five elements are present, that structure is going to stay forever. Hence, it is a life. Hence, it is an organic life. So, you write about social life. Then religion itself is a structure. According to R.C. Brown, religion itself is a, religion is responsible for intacting of the society. Religion is responsible for the structural existences. And the primacy, primacy was being given to the religion by R.C. Brown. Religion itself is a structure. Finally, criticism we have to write and we have to close it. Discuss Levi-Strauss view on insist taboo, psychic unity in detail with suitable evidences. 20 marker. First about Levi-Strauss. Levi-Strauss, a French anthropologist who, who borrowed his concept of structuralism from Emil Durkheim. And he also, he also took his concept from Trubitsky, Sapphire and he concluded and came up with a school called as structuralism. That is about Levi-Strauss introduction we will give. The basic tenets of structuralism. What are the basic tenets of structuralism? Structure is a continuous arrangement of parts. Culture is a result of structure in human mind. So, structures or cultures, the structures in the cultures are present where in the human mind. Who is the first person who gave primacy for human mind image? Levi-Strauss. Structures are present in the minds of the people. And the most important concept is, first we need to understand the underlying law. The important principle of structuralism is, first we need to understand the underlying law. What is that underlying law? You will write. And human mind is invariant, means constant. The unconscious mind is constant. That constant is structures. Accordingly, the culture evolves. This is criticized. But however, he, according to him, it is human mind is invariant. These are the tenets of structuralism. Then Levi-Strauss on insistibu, Levi-Strauss on psychic unity. What he told on insistibu, what he told on psychic unity. Tell me what he told on insistibu. First, you will write what is insist. And insistibu itself is a structure. Insistibu itself is a structure. No society is allowing insistibu because it is going to destroy the social structure. And insistibu is responsible for exchange of female. And the alien system which is given by Levi-Strauss Levi is took birth from incest taboo. Incest taboo can be understood as binary opposites. One where the relationship can be maintained, one where the relationship cannot be maintained. Incest taboo can be also understood as binary opposites. 
Are getting my point? Incest taboo can also be understood as binary opposites where one can maintain the relationship, where one cannot maintain the relationship. Then psychic unity directly. He, he supported the classical evolution. He also believed that the man will be thinking in the same format. Why? Because human mind is constant. Human mind is invariant. So obviously, his thought process will be same based upon the needs. With suitable examples, you can, you can take the example of incest taboo. It's a sin. In almost all the societies across 99% of the societies in the world believes incest as a sin and psychic unity of mankind. Man will be thinking in the same format and the cultures which is evolving also will be same if the environments are evidence. These are some evidences. Write the basic principles involved in culture personality school of thought with special reference to national character concepts given by Ruth Benedict. Only Ruth Benedict I asked. First you will write about culture personality school which is also called as psychological school of America. The, the birth or the origin or the evolution of culture personality school happened in the genesis of second world war. It was Ruth Benedict and Margaret Maid who are responsible for the culture personality school. However, we can also credit Franz Bose. Why? Because Franz Bose is the first person who maintained the relationship between culture and personality. We can, we should add so many names we have to write. Full stop. Then we will go to basic tenets of culture personality school. Number one, Ruth Benedict believed that culture evolved from, sorry, personality is responsible for evolution of culture. Few students are getting confused. Please, Ruth Benedict B, alphabetical order B, B means PC, PC means police constable. First he is police constable. P influence C. Then with time B becomes M, Margaret Mead. PC became CP, Commissioner of Police. So culture influenced personality. I am telling you, if you forget name also, don't write name, but don't write wrong. Margaret Mead, culture influence, personality. Then other three are who? Ralph Linton, Abram Cordiner and Cora Du Bois. These three people believed in culture influences personality, personality influences culture. And for every culture, there is a personality, they named by different terms. Next, Ruth Benedict. Ruth Benedict. Ruth Benedict had given that which is common personality among the people as what? Special genus. And she told there are two special genus. When she was studying Pubilogeny, Quaketul, Dobu, Pima. One is Apollonian and another is Dinos. We will write about that. Then we will come to next. Ruth Benedict's national character study. In the book called as Chrysanthemum and the Sword. The Chrysanthemum and the Sword, she discussed about the national characters of Japan, Germany and Russia. But why? Because exclusive on national character. But Japan and German people didn't allow Ruth Benedict and her colleague Margaret Mead to do field works, to study. Hence, they visited only Japan and started studying Japanese national character. Then they came to an understanding that you know the story. Then they came to an understanding. Childhood like this, after growing adult like this. Hence, it is the national character of Japan. This can also be understood. This can also be understood, present relevance, this can also be understood in a locality of people where, in a slum area, in a locality of the people where the criminals are present in more in number, then the individual whose birth happened in that particular locality, the chance of growing as a criminal is very, very high. Hence, it will become the national character of that particular area. A practical example we can take and we can add to it. Why? Because 20 mark, a national character study. However, it is further studied by Margaret Mead. Conclusion. It is subjected to criticism, but however, we are accepting that how an individual have a personality in the same way every culture or every society have a personality. In the same way, the nation is also having a personality like India have the personality called as Vasudeva Kutumbakam, Rishabh. Sir, giving criticism is required here in national. Ah, criticism is required, 20 marker, compulsory. However, it is criticized for what? Mere generalization, no proper field work, no statistical evidence, no concrete document. These are the criticism. Important. Why? Because it is on one person and one school and 20 mark. Write the comparison between British, German, American. Easy. British, British, SPR, Smith, Perry, reverse, founder of diffusionism, extreme diffusionist and the father of British diffusionism, reverse. Reverse studies, Toda, Perry, children of sun god, Smith, natural man, culture man, natural man, culture man. But reverse, however, there are multiple centers, but the dominating center is Egypt, Germany. 
now only we discuss Ratzel Forman Gadanki Forman Gadanki Leo Frebinus criteria of quantity museum collection invisible cultures Greibner primeval cultures Schemid primitive primary secondary tertiary by biological criteria which is also called as developmental criteria what does it mean we will not adopt the culture as it is it is organic it is biological which suits the local condition that is very important that is the reason i told leo frebinus is very intelligent he told biological criteria or developmental criteria we will not adopt the culture as it is we adopt the culture according to the local conditions if it fits then only we take if it doesn't fit we modify it according to leo frebinus that point is important then here america it is france bos it is Whistler, it is Kroiber. Culture, this three will compulsory criticism is required. Criticism, it is one sided, it is ethnocentric. Pan Egyptologists, German people, they gave higher importance for material aspects, lesser importance for non material aspects. They mainly bothered only about American societies, they studied only American societies. They clearly didn't told what is culture center, what is culture margin. Boundaries are important. They told, but they didn't explain what it is. However, this complete school failed, whether egg first or chicken first. Whether egg first or chicken first. Means whether evolution happened or diffusion happened. If diffusion is happening, from where it is happened and where there how it came? They didn't answer it. Yes or no online? You can expect, expect like this. Diffusionist theory can be seen as a debate between egg first or chicken first. Why? Because they basically believe that man is uninventive. Though uninventive, then how it came? Part 2. 15 marks. One thing is common. Conclusions are not good. Generally, I noticed it. Number 2. Handwriting is bad for few students. I am very famous for patience. I, 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 I be big, but I am very patient. I am not aggressive. I am very, very patient. For me only, I am unable to understand the sentence. Means compulsory evaluator will scratch it down. How much is your preparation? How much is your studies? How much is your sacrifices? That much is your handwriting, means on the paper. The final outcome, the final product is on the paper. On the paper itself is not good, means it's all years is waste. Remember that. And don't escape. If your answer is not good, some students are not writing answers so that the people will see handwriting. No. You can develop now. Slowly, slowly, something you do. Attempt all questions. Examine Malnovsky's theory of means. I gave very good need definition in my notes. Classroom, please write that need definition. What is that need definition? Need is a biological desire which come out from culture and natural setting. Means what? A Brahmin, a Muslim person, both are there. If I give beef and pork, whatever may be the need, how many days they are not eating, still they will not eat. Why? Because the need is not just a biological need. It also exists from culture and natural setting. So, first paragraph write about Malnovsky. Malnovsky is regarded as a famous British anthropologist. He is very famous for the concept of purpose-oriented school or purpose-oriented functionalism in which he emphasized on needs. Next paragraph. Need was defined by him in the book Scientific Culture. You will write about the need definition. Then you write about theory of needs. You know what basic need, derived need and integration need. What is basic need? Reproduction, clothing, shelter, food. Then what is response? Marriage, cloths, clothing, cloths, these all things. Derived needs after basic needs. Like what behavior? Managing goods, economic principle. Managing people, social control and political control. Then third, integration needs. What are integration needs? We feeling, togetherness, how it can be responded, how it can be achieved by religion, values, beliefs, customs. So three needs. Theory of needs. From which book is also very important. From which book also important? Malnovsky's theory of needs and write about its significance and limitations. Limitations bole kya? Criticism. What is the crit criticism? You tell me theory of needs. Some relations without needs also they exist. Like routine example. If father is not paying the fees to the son, the relationship will not come to an end. Still that social relation will move on. So everything cannot be seen from the context of need. And you named it as kinship algebra. Utility based. All are need based. All are not need based that you will mention. Criticism. 10 marker if they give, they might give kinship algebra. Contribution of this person. Explain briefly various anthropological 
see few of them written about social political economical cultural interpretation that is general studies answer interpretation of kularing social political economical cultural that is general studies answer no anthropological interpretation means schools oriented like what evolutionist interpretation functionalist interpretation structuralist interpretation psychological school means culture personality school psychological school interpretation materialist interpretation culture materialism symbolic interpretation of what Malinovsky is a 19th century anthropologist who emphasized more on functions and purposes. He is a person who gave the approach called as substantivist approach under the discipline called as economic anthropology. In order to prove his economic anthropology, he studied a case study in Trobriand Islands named as Kularing. Then you will come to the second paragraph. You will write about Kularing up to one page, not one page, half page Kularing. Then this is major. First Kularing, then interpretations, evolutionist interpretation. Tell me. What is evolutionist interpretation? Think. Kya ho sakta hai evolutionist interpretation? Functionalist interpretation, anyhow, you know. It is unifying the people. Nearly 1800 people or 16 islands, 16 islands, 16 tribal communities, they are unified because of this particular ceremonial exchange that we know. Structuralist, it is structures. In order to protect the in order to protect the structures, in order to protect the relations, they are ready to go for voyage in spite of death threat from the ocean psychological school they want to continue the culture why because status quo is very important in tribal society and the kularing is part of their folklore and myths hence they want to continue why because it is a psychology which makes them to become part of kularing material they are getting material benefits like solava mavali omelets etc etc so some material benefits also they are getting symbolic it is a symbol it is a symbol of togetherness it is a symbol of social cohesion it is a symbol of status quo you know, tribals emphasize more on what? Status quo. These many days we live like this, we want to live like this only. If you want to live like this only, you need to continue the traditions. And that symbol of the tradition is kularing. This is anthropological interpretations, my dear students. Evolutionists tell me, think how kularing can be understood in evolutionist context. Cultural survival, very good. Yes, one dimension, 100%. A cultural survival. Today, 21st century, there is no benefit of kularing. But still, today also, the Trobriand Islands, Mailu Island people are participating in this kularing. Culture survival, which is part of classical evolutions. evolution. Where it is existing? In another place? Culture survival only. Without any net benefit. If it is present, it is called as culture survival. Postmodernism. There might be some other reason for which they are into the dangerous voyage. The Malnovsky has misinterpreted it. It might not be the real intentions of the people. So, first you go and find the objective reason behind it. Hence, we are not believing in Kularing. Kyao Rishabh means, Rishabh as the economics took evolution to balance the principles. No, culture survival is correct. My computer is this side, okay. What are the major contributions given by Franz Bose to the school of historical particularism? Franz Bose, 15 marker. Historical particular small concept. Then how you will write 15 marks? And one more thing. Those who are writing very good answers, why you are not filling the pages? You have to fill. That is also one psychology. See, we should be safe side. I know this much only, I wrote this much perfectly means no, you want marks. You have to fill the page. Why? Because one psychology will be there. He left this. I think he don't know, but he written, but he, this he don't know. A plea, last page, at least 3 by 4th, you have to complete. We should not leave any stone turn. <laughs> What are the major contributions given by Franz Bose? Franz Bose, 19th century German born American anthropologist who is the founder of diffusionism and he was popular because of historical particularism. The next generation anthropologists like Margaret Mead, Ruth Benedict were his students. Second paragraph. Franz Bose did various contributions like emphasized on protection of endangered languages, comma. He emphasized on field works which need to be done with participation with the people, comma. He also studied on physical anthropology that psychology is responsible for growth and development, not just genetics, comma, or point wise. And finally, he gave a very great concept which is called as historical particularism. Third paragraph, historical particularism. Historical particularism. Every culture in any society is because of three factors. Environmental conditions, psychological aspects, historical connections in which the primacy was being given to history that you will write. Then you see, here there is no criticism, but still you have to write criticism. Why? Because small school this is. Two, three criticism you will write and you will give the conclusion. But however, 
in spite of the criticism we cannot negate the importance of history in india today we are believing in secularism only because in our ancient india we believed in vasudeva kutumbakam and in medieval india we believed in dini ilahi in the modern india we are giving importance for secular principles in the constitution hence today we are secular so today we are secular means it's because of history hence proved next what are the basic tenets and methodologies used for the theory of structuralism as propounded by cloud levestros first you will write about levestros as already we discussed levestros french anthropologist he took from durkheim he took from this this introduction you will write then basic principles basic tenets people follow rules of the culture people love to follow the rules reciprocity is a simple way to create relationships social relationships reciprocity give and take everything is a reciprocal relation whose basic idea is this levestros a gift to bind both the giver and recipient in a continuing social gift giver and gift taker so everything is reciprocal relations according to the idea of levestros theory of structuralism then is to search for a deep innate orderly principles underlying in any system that means what is that underlying law what is the deep innate underlying law which is existing in the system that is responsible for culture so the deep innate underlying law if we know then it proves that we know culture so we have to find that but where it is find where it is present in the minds of the people we need to explore human mind it's very beautiful concept this is also we have to appreciate first when we are reading anthropological thought you know we have to appreciate them then we will love we like and we understand more see for everything for every action there is something deep innate underlying law and where it is present it is present in human mind rc brown structure is an ordered arrangement of parts or components which is told by rc brown is also supported by levi strauss unconscious structure of human mind is invariant true myth is a product of mind in the same way as a rule of marriage or cooking or dressing are the products of human mind we have to understand how mind has been structured we have to study its product how the mind is ordered in the same way the products are present products are what myths beliefs customs these are all the products of mind so if you want to study this you have to study the human mind these are the principles of structuralism and culture can be understood as a whole not as a piecemeal and he gave levi strauss views on language and culture language and culture are homologous analogous language is part of culture insist above we discuss now only psychic unity on totemism levi strauss concept of totemism is establishing the relationship between the nature and the man hence it can be compared with india's levi lp vidya this concept of nature man spirit complex prudvinath one person is there prudvinath god he got 542 rank i remember suddenly i am remembering so i am telling you in ups interview you got this question culture ecology they asked interview people dr prudvinath 542 his, his name is there they asked culture ecology he told everything about julian seward then they asked can you compare culture ecology in indian context see at that time we won't remember no at that time can you tell culture ecology in indian context nmse is culture ecology only on totemism on human mind this is all you have to explain point by point see one more thing i will tell you now aspirants are reading more so what is there in the notes what is available in the resources they are writing in the paper which i noticed but however only few people are writing but something extra should be there what is that extra sir practical significance observations a civil servant important trait is what observation so what you are observing so remember in your mind again when you are looking into it you know basic one time happened so next time when you are doing revision just think one time what is observation in practical life with respect to structuralism with respect to yes for example structuralism the observation is the people's actions are totally depend upon what is present in the minds of the people observation one point you add from my side for any school of thought before criticism on the top observation what we observed from that school so it will give a clear intention this i observed which can be applied in mainly for 15 marker and 20 marker next 
write the major comparisons between Malnovsky's culture functionalism and R. C. Brown's structural functionalism. If you draw good, for example, Alekia written very good. If you after class once you see like that. See, answer writing is nothing but you are simplifying evaluation. My work you should reduce. There is there is no one best way of writing an answer. There is hundred percent it's a myth. There is no one best way of writing an answer. What is the best way? Making evaluator simple. So it's simple. See, Malnovsky, R. C. Brown, biological and psychological needs primacy to society. Human needs are given important. Societal needs are given important. Function on contribution of individual to society for the animal existence of man. It is animal existence of man. I, this functionalism is mainly bothered about what animal existence of man to maintain social structure means society. Religion for psychological. religion for psychological satisfaction religion to protect the society why because religion itself is a social structure and similarities why because the question is comparison few students written only differences comparisons means not differences comparison means differences and similarities both advocated field work both are emic views synchronic approach they are not dichronic both didn't bother about histories true write briefly the female anthropologist contribution to the school of culture personality school sunday test is upsc pattern question paper this is limited syllabus so 6, 14 questions i gave without choice but now the question paper will be of upsc standard section a and section b write briefly female anthropologist contributions of culture personality school so first you will write about culture personality school culture person, as i told in the introduction the beginning is a, it's a psychological school of america these are the anthropologists who are responsible then you will write about ruth benedict what is that personality called as special genus for margaret mead it is called as space personality for cora du bois it is called as model personality and whereas ruth benedict studied what pubilozini kwakitul dobu whereas margaret mead studied arapesh mudugumar shamboli whereas this cora du bois studied what aluris only few people written aluris also she studied her model personality is from the field work of aluris children few people written example of brahmin muslim namaz etc etc that is also correct but the field work is very very important so you will here you will emphasize on national character national character here it is called a psychodynamic approach she told that model personality is not fixed the model personality will be changing for a politician for a labor for a migrant etc means for every group there will be a personality now only i told you know like slum or people who are coming from that area they will have some means what psychodynamic approach the model personality is not fixed the model personality will be according to the situation or area or time cora du bois is more advanced when compared to this people this is about any doubts please online any doubts uh, for two questions are there 50% for example example you tell me i will tell first section this one ah uh, write the meaning and comparison between culture area and culture circle how did how did it help diffusionist to understand the diffusion of culture 100% this is 60% marks this is 40% marks just then and there i'm not i'm not assuming and telling see reasoning is there write the meaning and comparison between culture area and culture school means culture circle means two schools i am going to discuss in answer german school of diffusionism and american school of diffusionism second question is about what my observation my understanding my application so every time the applications will be 40% and the concept will be 60% like that we have means four pages no two end of page should be that one end of page should be this three people are there lesley white first new evolutionism 3 by 4th of the first page then lesley white one page julian stewart big man one end of page then this man half page then criticism another half page then conclusion what do you understand by the term economic anthropology economic anthropology 50% and kularing and its present relevance 50% social life single word question single sentence question basic principles involved in the culture personality school thought with special reference to national character national culture personality school 50% ruth benedict's concept is 50% whenever there is observations or applications or significance it should be 40% current relevance 40% a sacred complex can be linked to culture circle tell me answer rishabh is telling that sacred complex can be linked to culture circle hmm. so so he is telling that sacred complex can be tell is that as a culture circle one culture circle from where it is getting diffused yes sacred complex is a culture circle from where the culture is getting diffused migration factor people will go people will learn at the sacred center true which is called as culture center modified according to the local conditions as we are moving away yes rishabh okay thank you we will meet
Monday or Tuesday, we will have test 3 revision class. He is a diffusionist. He himself is a diffusionist. Thank you.